Hi everyone, welcome to Hatton's Model Railways live stream and I thought today I'd show you some of the great opportunities that are now available with a growing range of O-gauge items that are coming through. It's often thought that you need a huge amount of space to model in this larger scale, which does work out at 143rd scale rather than 176th of 00, 187th of HO and of course 1 to 148th of N-gauge 2. But you actually don't really. You can fit in quite a lot of items in a small space. You can have some great opportunities for shunting layouts or small passenger layouts or even locomotive depots too. So I thought I'd show you some of the items that are coming through in the O-Gage world now to really enable you to have some of those layouts in a small space. I'll show you some of the track work you can get to to really make that achievable. And we've got locomotives and rolling stock right from the turn of the 20th century up to the current day too. So there really is something for everyone to tempt you over to O-Gage here. Now, everything that I'm showing you today is in stock on our website so head over to the link in the description and you can find out more information there or if you'd like to learn a little bit more please do leave a comment on the stream or get in touch on the live chat and i will answer as many questions as i can but let's take a look at the track first that's the most fundamental part of any layout we need it to put the trains on after all so let's see what is available and whilst we do have the traditional yard lengths of track available from the Pico range, there is a growing range of set track pieces too. And I'll show you the big four pieces of those that are really great for making some smaller layouts. So first up, we have the set track short straight. These come in at 334 millimeters. I've left an M off there, I do apologize. And that works out for six pounds a piece there. So coming in at just over about 13 inches in length. And these are set pieces as you'll find on your double O layouts and your N-gauge set track pieces too. It's exactly the same way they join together with the rail joiners on there with being the same as the code 100 track. So you use the SL10 rail joiners, but these do come pre-fitted. Heading over to the next piece, we have the set track curve that you can see here. This is a second radius curve that you can now pick up. These work out at a 40 inch radius, so just over a meter if you are putting these in a circle. And you do need 16 of these to fit into a circle. But these again work out at six pounds each on their own. And we do do a little bit of a discount price if you're buying more. And finally, to change our tracks, Whilst we do have a range of Pico streamline points, they've also brought out the set track unifrog points too, both left and right, the same radius as the curves there, and they work out at 43 pounds each. So even if you're not too confident on your track claim, you can pick up some great pieces out there to get you started, which clip and snap together as the set track does in the double O gauge. And I believe there is a set track starter set on the way too. So do keep an eye out on our website for that particular set coming through in the new year. However, in the meantime, all the bits, as you can see here, are available individually, really easy to put together. And of course you can combine them with the flexible track too. But let's get on to the fun stuff. Let's start looking at locos and rolling stock. And let's start right at the start. As we mentioned, we can cover you right back to the start of the 20th century. Dapol produced a model of the London Brighton South Coast Railway Terrier locomotives, introduced in 1872 in real life. So heading right back over 150 years now almost. And these locomotives will be joined in 2021 by some appropriate coaching stock the Stroudley coaches that we can see here in both the mainline and suburban versions. Now the loco works out at around eight, nine inches long and the coaches work out at a similar measurement to that. So you can start getting an idea, especially with the rolling stock that I've got here in front of me of the sizes that these small items of rolling stock take up. If you have maybe a four or an eight foot layout space, you can still produce something quite convincing with a small branch line terminus there with some of those coaches and locomotives. And these are supported by a wide range of private owner wagons, both small and large. You've got four, five and seven plank wagons with a lot of private operators from across the UK on there too. So if you are a pre-grouping modeler, have a look at those and we've got those available. 
Yes, Chris, we've got those available right now. So again, if you head over to the description, every single thing I am showing you today is in stock now. So I've put a link in there which directs you through to all of our row gauges. So if anything in particular takes you fancy, head over to the website for a closer look. So we'll move on from our pre-grouping now and we'll head into what's known as the Big Four era. So this is when the four railway companies were formed. You had the London North Eastern, Great Western, London Midland Scottish, and of course the Southern Railway too. And you can buy rolling stock in smaller form for O gauge for all those companies. So again, some great inspiration and ideas for layouts there. The Terrier stays with us. We've just shown it in the London Brighton livery, but you can acquire it in the Southern Railway colour scheme too. However, locomotives come through for different companies then, and we can have a look at some now. We've got the LMS Ginty, which is just about to be released for its second run. They're coming through in early 2021. And these were former Midland Railway locomotives, so you can use these again on a variety of shunting, very small passenger or pickup goods duties, maybe a small goods yard or a factory, which you'd have absolutely no issue fitting in with some of the track that we have seen there previously. If you want to go a little bit smaller than that, how about our tiny Sentinel locomotive brought through by Dapple? This really is minute, as you can see here. These were used for shunting in a lot of private yards, but the big four railway companies did own them too, with locomotives available in LMS, LNER, and Great Western Railway colour schemes on these iconic little locomotives. Absolutely perfect. If you really are tight for space, it's just about as short as the seven plank wagon that I've put in front of it there for you. So if you are strapped for space, you could fit one of these and a wagon, certainly on a four foot board such as this and make it into a really micro layout, should you like that. But it's not all about freight stock by absolutely no means. There's some great opportunities too. If you are thinking about passenger stock in the big four era, we are offering the pannier tanks to small prairies and the 14XX tank locomotives, one of which I've got here in the later BR Green. These were designed to work with a single coach on what's known as auto train duties. And we have, of course, the auto coach there to complete the set. So a locomotive and a coach there coming in at just over two feet in length, which again, even for a double O layout, that would be quite small, but certainly in O gauge, that is something that you are really cramming into that space there. And you've got a full passenger train, one locomotive, one coach, and you can then build a terminus station or a small Great Western Railway branch line station there too. And this isn't all that we've got today. I'm only showing you a small selection of the various different items we have. If you do want to see every single livery variation on the locomotives and the wagons and rolling stock that we have available, do head over to the link in our description for a little bit more inspiration there too. So let's move on to the next era. Now let's head on a little bit further and we'll go into the British Rail era of the 1950s and early 1960s. So we're still sticking with steam. A lot of the locomotives I've shown you already, in fact, all the models I've shown you already, the Ginty, the 14XX, the Sentinel, the 05, which I've not talked about over here yet, and the Terrier, all come through in the British Rail colour schemes. But I've just got an example of a setup I'd like to pose here for you now. This is one of Depol's new Pannier Tank locomotives, a single 12-ton van and a brake van there too. And this can be acquired at a really budget price too. We're looking at under 200 pounds for the pannier tank, 40 pounds for the van here and 65 pounds for the brake van. So you really can start to build up a small branch line pickup goods such as this. Again, just over two foot or so. So we're not talking a huge amount of space here. All the rolling stock that I've shown you today and a lot of the larger locos available in O-Gage too do work on the set track curves, which I've shown you previously, the second radius curves, which work out at about 40 inches radius and the points which work out at the same radius there too. So you'll have absolutely no issues there. So coming back to the screen, 
We do have a lot of different manufacturers available in O-Gage. Dapol do have a penchant for making the smaller items, which are great for starting smaller railways. If you wanted some larger locomotives, you can look at other manufacturers out there, such as Helgen, who have dabbled in some of the smaller locomotives, such as the Class 05 diesel shunters, as we see here. But Helgen usually stick with the smaller diesel locomotives, hence we've been a little Dapol heavy on the steam, but we will be covering some Helgen when we head over to the diesels. And surely that is a really appropriate time to head over to those diesels, actually. We can have a lot of steam operating alongside those on, again, say a small depot layout or indeed a small branch line terminus where shunting locomotives may be required for a private factory. You can fit that all in a really small layout that you can see. We can just as easily remove our pannier and put in our Class 05 shunter. And one thing I've not mentioned so far, every single locomotive I've shown you here today is digital ready too. So if you are a digital modeler, most locomotives you've seen have the 21 pin decoder socket. So there's no soldering needed, no hard wiring, no issues along that line. It is just a case of removing the body and putting in your chosen decoder. And if you're not too sure on how to do that, do check out our decoder installation video where we'd be more than happy to give you some guidance there too. So we're heading into the 1960s now. We've still got small locomotives and small trains, as you can see here. And that's really the focus of today's stream, showing you some of these smaller items that you can fit in O-Gage to make a micro layout, maybe in a spare room at your house, or you've maybe just got a corner that you're not quite sure what to do with and you want to fit something in. So I'm just showing you some of the possibilities. So heading over to our next era, we're heading into the 60s and the 70s now. And again, quite a few of those smaller diesel shunters still available. We've got here Helgen's Class 03 locomotive. This again is 21 pin digital ready for you digital users. And it can not only be bought in BR blue and BR green, but a variety of industrial color schemes heading through to the 1980s and the 1990s, as we can see on the left of our screen there. So these really cover up what we have available for all the eras. This is the time in real life when a lot of the larger locomotives were starting to appear on some of these freight yards. And of course, the branch lines were shutting down. But we've still got some great opportunities to model these locomotives, either in private industry as part of a small depot layout. And as we mentioned before, a lot of the larger locomotives, including Helgen's vast diesel range of locomotives, such as the Class 37, the Class 56 coming through next year, will be able to handle these second radius curves that we have here. So even if you are building a smaller layout, there's absolutely no issue with bringing in a larger locomotive from time to time. So let's head really modern. Let's head into the tw late 20th and 21st centuries. We're bringing you a really modern diesel shunter that we've got here now. Well, a classic diesel shunter in a modern livery. These class 08 shunters originally brought in in the 1950s, but still in service to the current day. And these are part of a growing range of modern image locomotives. Again, useful and ideal for a smaller layout. We've got the 08 in various different liveries coming from BR Black when it would have run alongside the pannier tanks that we see here into green and blue sectorization liveries and then the 21st century color schemes with an appropriate turbot ballast wagon here, maybe making a small ballast sidings, which would be a fantastic little diorama. You could maybe have it with the wagons being loaded and unloaded for shipment onto other places. Again, maybe a small fueling point or a layout there with a depot on it and you can have a depot pilot such as the class 08 and bring on some of the larger modern diesel locomotives such as the reruns of helgen's class 60 expected next year and dapol's own o gauge class 66 which we're also expecting in 2021 so whilst i've shown you a lot of the smaller items today don't forget that there is a large amount of larger locomotives available in o gauge too and you can still fit those on your layout. You can still put them in, especially if you are building a depot or something along the lines. But I really wanted to show you some of the smaller engines that we see here and those which we've seen on the screen, such as the Jinty, the 14XX, 
And one more time there, the O3 Shunters 2 and many more besides these, which are available from Dapol, Helgen and other manufacturers to show you that you can have a bit of fun with O-Gauge, but you don't need a full spare room. You don't need a garage or a barn or anything like that. You can fit it in in a four foot or an eight foot space with the track that we have available and really make a nice micro layout that can have some great shunting fun or even a display of your locomotives in a depot scene. So have a look at what we've got available. The full link is in the description down there for all our O gauge items, large and small. And just to say again, that even though we've featured the smaller locomotives here today on our set track track that's offered by Pico, I'll just give you a preview of what we've got available there again with the curves and the points. The larger locomotives that are available from the likes of Helgen will get round these curves too. So you can bring on a larger locomotive onto your smaller layout. And as Charles was mentioned there, it is a fantastic way as well, especially at this time of year. With that 40 inch radius being just over a meter, it's an ideal size to get something around a Christmas tree too. So if you did want to start on O-Gage and you've got a layout plan for the new year, why not pick up the track and a loco a little early, have a festive train heading around your tree to get your appetite wetted and then get started on building your layout in the new year. But as ever, we're more than happy to give you any advice. We're more than happy to help with any suggestions or ideas. There are layout plans available from us. If you head over to our website, again, there's a link in the description for those there. Some Pico O-Gage Set Track Tram Plan Books. There's some brilliant other books there too. I believe Thomas there has asked whether you can use this to model a heritage railway. You certainly can. And that gives you a great opportunity to completely forget the era system and bring in every single item that you have here. And we even have a specific book zine available if you are thinking about bringing in some of the items that we have there. So I hope you've enjoyed today's session. I hope you've learned a little bit more about what items are available right now in O-Gage for a smaller layout, some great opportunities to use these. They're all really easy to install digital too, with them all being digital ready if you are thinking of heading that way. But otherwise, to straight out of the box on analog, you can buy digital fitted versions too. And I've put a link in the description for all the items we have available right now and some of those plan books with, which give you some great inspiration on building a layout in a small space too. If you'd like to learn anything else, please don't hesitate to get in touch either by leaving a comment on the video or getting in touch with our customer experience team who will be more than happy to help you with anything you need at all. Don't forget to subscribe and like our Facebook page and YouTube channel for more Skillscast videos, for more Real Railway profiles and modelling inspiration too. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.